<laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart Kirkland Blended Scotch Whiskey. Woo! We're going to test it! Getting a deal style. Eric the Whiskey Style. Woo! Eric. All right, this is a handle, baby. You got a Con handle. Really kind of continuing our Costco yeah, range. Yeah, thank We've you. We've had Eric. a few. Um, we have a couple of patrons that uh, uh, support us and send us these Costco releases because we don't get them in our area. We don't, they, we don't see it. Thank you for the gifts and the support. But Eric, the, you wanted to call him Eric, Eric the, the Red. Red. I don't know why. He feels Vikingish. We just need a different, you know, Eric the Cask, Eric the... I still like uh, dealer. No, that, <laughs> Eric sounds, the, yeah, that sounds wrong. <laughs> I like Eric. The, we try, we thought of Eric the whiskey, but that didn't work either. I still like Eric the red. So look at that. Just see what I like about a handle, half gallon, is that it makes me feel like a child. <laughs> it's like I'm pouring, pouring with. With small little hands. To hand it, you know. Yeah. It's like, you know, I'd be like, oh, here, I'm learning to pour. Of course, so it's whiskey. We have Costco Ooh. here. We Still. do not have Costco whiskey. Sadly. They no. can't sell it in Kansas. Nope. They keep getting blocked. All these different federal regulations. But, state. State. Uh, this is Kirkland blended scotch whiskey. Yes. Non-age statement. Blended scotch whiskey, so we don't have a malt blend here. Could be some mm. grain involved. Oh, guaranteed. And I'm guessing 40% ABV if you, you can find it. You would be a correct All right. guess. All right. Um, Let's. Alexander Murray and Company. And uh, yeah, matured and American oak cast. That would be expected. Smooth and rich blend. Okay, and I won't tell you what they say the notes are. There's a light grainy blend yeah. nose here. Yep. I would almost, and it almost smells like virgin oak. Huh. Okay. I think that's the grain. Sometimes the virgin oak and that grain will give me almost some of the same. I get maybe a touch nose. of cherry, but I don't know where that's coming from. I thought I would get more vanilla, but you're right. I get a little hint of what I call, it's almost like a cane sugar or a, uh, yeah, like yeah, a pure cane. sugar. Yeah, cane, cane sugar. Yeah. Which is usually the blends I'll get it. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the corn coming through. I think it's a corn a mm. grain. That's I don't know it. about that, about corn or not, but grain. Right. Well, I don't get corn, but when I right. get that sweet sugar oh, kind of. Dusty, almost like some of the dusty bourbons we would get. Gosh, I'm almost. Dusty, grainy. I get just a hint of the wood, though. Yeah, slight, slight oaks mm -hmm. and, a, and a tart kind of sour sweetness. Mm. Mm. This is definitely a mixer. Mm. <laughs> I got a touch of apricot there at the forefront. Mm, this is young. This is, yeah. I don't see myself <laughs> sipping on this neat very often. <laughs> so let me see here. Um, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. So sometimes what I'll get with a, with a good blend is... Um, it's soft. It's more rounded. This one seems not quite as rounded. I'll come back to what that means later. And not as sweet on the palate as I thought it was going to be. So for me, rounded is almost like when I'll have, um, well, a good blend. It just feels like a soft palate, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, by so by round, round that I mean it's not it's not like jumping out or giving you hard edges, but this one's not quite as rounded or or, or smooth. Matured in American oak casks, forty percent distilled and matured in Scotland, blended Scotch whiskey. This isn't necessarily a mess for Kirkland. We've had some good releases from them. This is 
by far my, my least favorite. There's, mm -hmm. there's very little going on with this one. Um, it's really what I would expect for this price range of whiskey <laughs> at 40% and being a blend of Scotch. I, I am whiskey. curious what you're going to tell me what a handle went for. I, well, we don't know. This, and we've had this one from Eric for a while. I'm, I'm going to guess this is $30 or sub dollars or so. Less, yeah. yeah. And this one range. catches me. I get a little sour note in the finish. Mm, a sour, almost like I'll get. But it's more subtle than this. Almost like I'll get with a black tea. When I have a black tea, I'll get this little slight touch, well, heavier sour at the end of it. And I get a touch of like a black tea sour note. Not not as strong as a black tea. I wonder what that is. Maybe it's a hint of that wood ash, too. Hmm. I thought it would be sweeter. So, um, during, I like... A lot of the blends, um, uh, well, really almost all the blends, I don't mind them, but I'll usually drink them. I'll put them up on my like daily sipper bar that I have upstairs away from the set. And in June, July, August, it's super hot in Kansas. And I may go out and mow or something and I'll come in and I'll throw two or three cubes in and put in that 40% and it's sweet and it's light. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not looking for any kind of high proof. Matter of fact, I'm usually hot. And I want something sweet, light, and refreshing. I used to even use, um, oh shoot, what was it? Well, now I can't even remember. I was going to do it. Now I can't even remember what I used to pour in there. Oh, what was that one that we were making? The um, it wasn't highballs. When we were first there, you would use the liqueur. And um, oh, uh, rusty nails, yes, you would do the rusty nail with and the dram buoy and dram, scotch. yeah, dram buoy was in there, uh, that'd be good, yeah. But yeah, that I could see doing that with this because that would sweeten it up a little bit. But I wouldn't, uh, I will tell you, some of those, even the rusty nails, or even mixed drinks, mixed cocktails that I have, sometimes when you have a little bit better spirit, it does shine through. You know, and, and you're getting that on the palate as well as whatever, you know, liqueur or... Um, that might be worth trying sometimes. Because, see, I feel like it'll... It gets drowned out. And, I, and then I'm like, man, I'm not... I mean, I can see what you're saying that... Because sometimes instead of a whiskey with some of these different cocktails, I'll ask for a certain rye because it'll spark it up a little bit. But uh, I'm by, by no means uh, do I usually drink cocktails. If someone's like, would you like a thing, thing, thing? Uh -uh. Just give me this. Just give me a good single malt. I don't need a thing, thing, thing. You need a thing, thing, thing? I uh, thing, thing, thing. <laughs> think about my score here. <laughs> oh, um, um, mine's this, easy. Uh, I'll give it an 81. I was thinking 79. Okay. Even so, though 80 is my starting point yeah. now, this really isn't bad. Mm -mm. If it went There's down, nothing this here. is, a, I actually thought it would be a little sweeter, and I thought, I bet you the price point and the sweetness, maybe this would be something on that line, but it, it's not really. I mean, uh, I, I went and looked, and uh, Eric didn't ever send us the price on this, and we've had it for several months now. It's been sitting here in the queue Got ready it. to be reviewed. Got I can't it. imagine that it's probably a 25 to $30 bottle somewhere yep. in that range. I bet. Um, so I, still I guess, you know, if you're or popping nah, 80. 79, it lets um, you down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I had higher expectations for it, even probably because it's well, the, some of the other Kirklands that we've had. Good point. I thought, ah, maybe yep. this one would be a little bit better. I just thought it would um, be a little sweeter. That was it. I, and like I say, I would not, I would never drink this whole bottle. It would take, it would be <laughs> out at the parties for mixing. <laughs> well, yeah, if you not. showed up, like, so you know no whiskey lovers are going to be there, or anticipated whiskey lovers. You show up with this and with your rep, because with our friends and our, our coworkers and stuff, you show up, they're always like, wow. You know, I've had guys come up and go, hey, you know what? You know what I like? I like that 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 uh, Jack Daniels that, honey. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, the Jack Daniels honeys. You had it? Killer. Mm -hmm. You have, have you reviewed the Jack Daniels honey? Because you know what I like to do? Put the ice in there and then throw extra sugar in it. Wow, that sounds <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Sorry, so if you showed up with this, they'd be like, Woo! You serious, man? You serious? What do you got? Well, we had a, a new, we had a new patron come yes. in, and so I had to go look. We've got three or four. We, yeah. Um, We're due. Let's yeah, give him yeah. one on this sweetness. You sweet. William, William Devilar here needs a shout out, though, because he's a $3. Supporter. Wow. William Devilar! Way to go with some gusto. You get that at $2 above. William could even man. throw in a picture as long as he does what? Yep, covers the pickle. Got to cover the pickles. Don't send us a picture with a pickle. <laughs> and uh, we've met William in uh, Austin, matter oh, of fact, or at least he was that. there this year, I know oh, for sure. Oh, so I did not. He did if not. he was, yeah. unless he was there at a prior year. Yep. So uh, Cousin Shane went with you at the last Austin yep. gathering. Yep. So Perfect. All right. All right, cool. We'll wrap that up. Scott, uh, whoa. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Look at our merchandise. Help support the show. We got glasses, coins, hats, dropper sets, all kinds of stuff. Burn stuff on it. Nicely said. Patreon yep. is how you get that shout out. If you like the show, go throw us a couple. Yep. A couple bucks. Now, scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. 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 <laughs>